Mick Ayesa, and I'm a member of the cast of a show that is called Thriller Live. And Thriller Live is an amazing spectacle, celebrates the music and the life of the king of pop himself, Michael Jackson. Hey! <laughs> Hello, Bailey, how are you? Many years ago, you posted that Michael Jackson was one of the reasons that you became a musician. That's true. Yeah. That's very true. Uh, so how deep was this influence in you? I think ever since I can remember, I've been a fan of Michael Jackson. In fact, um, uh, I don't remember a time when I never knew about Michael Jackson. So, it, oh, as far as I'm concerned, it was possibly one of the few songs, that first songs that I ever sang was probably was this song. I had a band, I had a band actually in high school called um, Soka Toa, which turned into Randy Badass and the Slick Master Five. And we would actually do Michael Jackson covers, singing anything from Working Day and Night to uh, um, uh, uh, Billie Jean and, and Thriller. We, so we played those songs ever since, I, as long as I can remember. But everything that Michael did, he, he, was, he was always the best of the best. Everything he did was, did was, uh, was touched with magic, I thought. You know, I, I can see that uh, large part of, of uh, my musical, even the way I write songs, I mean, people said to me, gee, that sounds like so-and-so, which is Michael Jackson's song. Oh, that sounds like so I didn't even realize I'm doing that, so I'm sure that that's a, an, a, an indication of how much he's influenced me and my music. I mean, this is actually a, a bit of a dream job for yeah. me, you know, to do the music of Michael Jackson I'm, uh, on stage. Sometimes I feel very unworthy that I'm, I was like, why am I doing this? It's like, this is this guy who I've loved all my life. And um, I remember seeing Michael Jackson actually live at Parramatta Stadium in 1987. It wasn't until I saw him live on stage that I just thought this guy is just beyond description. He is uh, superhuman in a way. Yeah, how did you get involved with Thriller Live? I, think I, was, I was actually in New York at the time. I was in New York, we just moved to New York, but uh, I got a call from um, the musical director, John Marr, who, funny enough, I worked with him for the first time in this very theater. We did Rent here at Theatre Royal in 1998, and he was a musical director there, and he was been working in London for a while, um, and I knew him because I worked with, with him, and we were Rock You in London as well, but he was working on this new show on the music of Michael Jackson, and they're looking for people to come and and do it. He gave me a call and you know I, I was very excited to hear about the project. Um, it was a workshop UK tour in 2007 that we put this show together. It wasn't the best show in the world but it was at least it, it was the the baby that that was born that then grew up to be Thriller Alive. But they came and saw the show and I think it was Jermaine Jackson, Tito Jackson, and Randy Jackson had all seen the show since various um, increments of the show and they gave it a thumbs up and said yes we endorse it and uh, you have our blessing Wonderful. so we're very lucky to, to have that and Michael, was a, Michael himself was going to come and see the show in 2009 he was rehearsing for his uh, comeback tour this is it right he was rehearsing in London and unfortunately he didn't make it because the date that he was supposed to come he passed away before that date came so, Sayan Naman. The good thing about this show, well, good or bad, depending on how you look at it, is that I get to play myself in this show. It's, uh, it's me, it's Mig singing the songs of Michael Jackson. It's not um, me pretending to be Michael Jackson. Having said that, you can't sing the songs of Michael Jackson without giving a couple of moves here and there, a bit of hiccups or... <laughs> or there are certain things that are part of the Michael Jackson vocabulary which you need to speak to in order. If the moment takes me away, then I will throw in a couple more Michael Jackson things. But uh, I leave all the really technical stuff to the amazing dancers that we have in the show. We have 15 professional dancers who are amazing, amazing. These guys and girls are, uh, will blow you away. And they, they work so hard, they work all night. But they, they do all the amazing stuff. I don't have to do that stuff. but I've, I feel like I need to learn a bit more and I've learned a lot from them because I can't be on stage and just sing while they're working the buns off. So I feel like I, I, I sort of soak in what they're doing a little bit. So it's kind of, we, we help each other out, I think. I'm gonna need you in this bit. Woo! Come on, put your hands 
He's a very funny man. Uh -huh. So you'll yeah. be the same. <laughs> I'm uh, the same. No, I let him be the funny one. <laughs> He's awesome. I'm a fan of music in general. You know, I've been, I feel like I've been very lucky with the roles that I've done. Like, uh, uh, Queen is one of my favorite bands of all time, and I've had a great association working with um, We Will Rock You and the music of um, Queen, the symphonic that we did with the Sydney Symphony earlier this year. Um, and my association with that band has been like one of the greatest things ever in my career. Hey, what other projects are you involved in right now? Well, um, actually, I'm working on a project which, which is airing in the Philippines right now. Um, it's a show called Fill It Up. And I'm a co-host with Sophie Sumner, who so Sophie Sumner won America's Next Top Model a few years ago. Um, and this show is a show that, that chronicles our travels around the Philippines. We toured around the Philippines for three months looking at the best beaches, the best bars. I was looking for musical inspiration, she was looking for fashion ideas. Um, and, and by doing that we got to experience the Filipino culture, meet amazing Filipinos and taste the food, go to amazing places. Um, it's a fantastic show. It's been a project I've, I really believe in. I, because um, since uh, Typhoon Yolanda, a lot of people have cancelled their trips to the Philippines thinking that, you know, well, oh, it's devastated and destroyed because the, all the images they see on CNN or ABC News are uh, shots of, of destruction and devastation. Our job in this show is to entice people back to the country and to show them another side of the Philippines which they may not have seen. I would jump at the opportunity to come back to Australia at any time. Uh, I, every time I come back here I realize how much I love Australia, how much I miss it here, and uh, one day I'll come back and live. Yeah.